Hello, 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 everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, am I absolutely crystal clear? Okay, so good evening to everyone. And I hope this session is going to be an eye opener for all of us. And more importantly, I really hope so. And I truly believe on it that the next 30 to 45 minutes will give you the right direction in order to crack the AA exam on Monday, 3rd June, 2024. Okay. Well, let's assume I am a AA student and I have attended lectures from all around the globe. I have studied more than one study text. I have solved multiple ERQs. I have solved and I have discussed numerous Section A type questions. Even if you have gone through a lot of content, even if you have read the technical articles, even if you have actually focused on the ACCA study hub, well, that's my personal belief that there are two things which are extremely important and nothing, and I, I literally, you know, mean it that no book, no past paper, no exam kit could replace or undermine the importance of two things. Number one, the first and the most important thing is this right now, and it's called the orientation session. Because this orientation session is being conducted on 16th April, 2024. It means it's a post result session and I call it, or we call it the reset orientation session. Well, why we call it the reset orientation session? Because normally students who tend to join this orientation session are those who have already unfortunately failed the paper. But even if you have not failed the paper and this is your first ever attempt to double A, well, you are more than welcome. And we will, you know, design things in such a way that you will be able to crack double A on mon Monday, 3rd June, 2024. So the first most important thing, according to me, is the orientation session. Okay, the second most important thing is the final mock exam. And somewhere in between the two, the success is there. Now, who's going to attempt the final mock exam? Who's going to learn a thing or two out of the final mock exam? Who is going to attend all the lectures? Who's going to attend all my live sessions? Who's going to attend all my recorded lectures with respect to section A questions? You are going to shine in the final mock exam provided you have actually submitted all my assignments and your assignments would definitely be marked. So the orientation session leading towards the final mock exam, this is the package which I have got for you when it comes to double A and triple A. So let's talk about double A and let's formally start the session. And I'm assuming that all of you are absolutely comfortable with respect to voice quality. Can I have some confirmation? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, so today is 16th April 2024. So including 16th April, we have got 15 days of April, followed by 31 days of May, which means we have got 46 days before we enter June, let's, well, let's count first and second June as well. So we have got approximately 48 days left in the final exam. You should ideally minus at least eight, eight days out of those 48 days, because approximately I will be conducting my most important, the backbone of AA, the final mock exam, approximately on 23rd or 24th of May. So let's minus eight days. Let's minus nine days. Okay. So we have got 40 days 
to crack double A. If you are going to attempt my double A mock exam, I will once I will mark your mock exam. I will sh I will share a report with you. So th those students who have already studied a paper from me, they know I will be sharing a report where your name, your question number one part A, CRQ number one part A, CRQ number one part B, CRQ part C. Similarly, CRQ number two part A, CRQ number two part part B. So you will have access to a detailed report. Your script would be marked and you will receive your mark script line by line. Now, I'm super confident that with the help of that mock exam, once you will receive the mark script from me, and once you will read the entire mock, uh, well, mock script, and once you will attend the post mock, the mock debrief session, that session, that mock, that mock script will give you a jump of at least five or most likely it will at least five and most likely it will give you a jump of 10 to 15 marks. Be prudent, I would say it will give you an at least at least jump of five to six marks. But normally it gives a jump of 10 to 15 marks. Well, this session, Namza is asking how long this session will last. Well, this session will be over within 40 to 45 minutes maximum. Okay. So now who is going to attempt the double A mock exam? Those students are going to attempt the mock exam who are going to follow my instructions for the next 30, 35 days. So next 30, 35 days are extremely important and crucial. Now, if you ask me, is this doable? Will you? Do I believe that you can crack double A in the next 40 days, in next 38 days? Absolutely, yes. 30 to 35 days are more than enough. I repeat, more than enough to pass double A in flying colors. Before I proceed, let me make another confident statement. And this statement, I don't make this statement in other ACCA papers. Double A is the most easiest paper among the skill level, among the ACCA skill level. Double A is the easiest paper among the skill level exam. Okay. Now, if you want to join the reset batch, you have got two numbers in front of you and you've got to contact them through the WhatsApp and they will respond you and you can enroll yourself in the reset batch. Okay, let's continue. Well, a brief introduction about me. Um, well, my name is Ahmed Mumtaz and I teach double A and triple A at WIFI. I've got double A English batch. I've got double A Hindi Urdu batch. Similarly, I've got triple A English batch and I've got triple A Hindi Urdu batch. So yes, these are four different batches. Well, what about WIFI? Well, WIFI is a gold online ALP. So there are multiple, many, many, many online learning providers across the globe. But WIFI is one of those gold online ELP. What do I mean by gold? It means the, the website, the lectures, the mock exam, the assignment, the everything is scrutinized, monitored by ACCA itself. And that is why they have awarded us with an accreditation, which is called gold online ALP. So yes, we are being monitored. And yes, our results are being scrutinized so yes, there is a tag which is called Gold Online ALP. Well, I have I'm blessed, and I was officially part of ACCA's official practice to pass webinars for both double A and triple A. Okay, uh, recent distinctions in double A AA and triple A. Let's move to the pass rates of double A. What about pass rates of double A? Okay, now. Few moments ago, I said, few moments ago, I said that few moments ago, I said that double A is the easiest paper among the skill level. Okay. Before I proceed, I would like I would like to know, have you got any idea what's the global pass rate for FR tech? and FM papers on an average for the last five years, for the last 10 years, for the last couple of years, FR, TAC, FM. What's the global pass rate on an average for FR, TAC, and FM? 
global pass rate for FR tax FM. Okay, I'm just got no idea. Okay, let me give you a, an idea. Well, the global pass rates for FR, FM, and tax are on an average 50% or more. So, for example, for example, for example, the global pass rate for tax for the March 2024 attempt was 53%. For FR, it was 52%. For FM, it was slightly low, 48%. Usually, it is 50%. So, on an average, the numbers are 50 or more. Even for SBR, it is 49%. For SBL, the most expensive paper, it is, it is 52%. Now, what about the global pass rates for double A? Well, let's discuss the global pass rate for AA, 39% in September 2021, followed by 38%. Then it jumped up to 44 but then it fell down to 39%. Then it jumped up to 44%. Then it jumped down to 40 Then it jumped up to 44 And then June 2023, it jumped up further to 45%. Then fell down to 42 Then 41 And now there is a jump of 44%, which I believe has got to do with the ACCS study hub content. I will explain what does that mean. Now, I was saying that AA has got the, well, I was saying that AA is the easiest skill level paper, but at the same time, the global pass rates are very different as compared to uh, FR, as compared to text. Why is this so? Well, I will tell you why AA has got such a poor pass rate, although I truly believe that AA is the easiest paper. Well, before that, let me tell you the course content. So if there is anyone who has never started AA, who is absolutely new, well, no problem, no problem whatsoever. Let's discuss the course content. Well, according to me, there are four minor topics. And according to me, there are three major topics. According to examiner, there are three major syllabus areas, and those are B, C, and D. That A, that B, that C, that D is according to the ACCA study guide. So according to ACCA's official study guide, you have got syllabus areas from A to E. That means five syllabus areas. But according to me, there are seven syllabus areas because I would like to split ethics and acceptance and corporate governance. So as you can see, these two are actually one and one and the same topic, but I would like to split them up. Similarly, internal audit C and internal control system, another C, which is a major topic. According to ACCA, it's one and the same topic called syllabus area C, but I would like to split them up. And then we have got syllabus area B, which is audit risk and planning. Then we have got the famous, the iconic substantive procedure, which is the most important and the common reason behind the double A failure. So today I have gone through multiple my exam performance reports. And one thing was common. Everyone seems to have failed the syllabus area D and the syllabus area E. If you ask me, in the last 10 to 12 hours, what is the most common reason among the double A failure or what's the common characteristic? I would say number one, they have failed syllabus area D and E, that is CRQ number three. If you have failed the paper, check out your My Exam Performance Report now and you will realize your CRQ number three was below the par. If you failed the CRQ number three, because people, students, I don't know why they are rote learning substantive procedures. They are trying to cram them. They are trying to come up with a set of substantive procedures which they would like to apply in each and every situation, which should not be the case. Which should not be the case. You will never be able to pass double A if you are going to rote learn the syllabus area D and if you are going to ignore syllabus area E. The CRQ number three is always a combination of B and E. And if you are not understanding the crux 
the concept behind substantive procedures, you will struggle in CRQ number one and two as well, because those CRQs would have flavors of substantive procedures as well. Second most obvious reason behind the double A failure, which I realized in the last 10 to 12 hours, ever since ACCA has uploaded the uh, exam performance report. The second reason, if you have failed the double A, go on and check out your my exam performance report. You have failed your section A. You have scored 48, 44, 38% in your section A, which means you scored 10 or 12 out of 30. Let me come up with another challenge. If you have failed double A and you managed to score 20 or more, this is impossible. So if someone has scored 20 out of 30 or 20 or more out of 30 in section A, I bet he or she cannot fail this paper. So I hope you're realizing why people are failing it. I hope you're realizing what mistakes we need to avoid during the next 40 or days. Okay, what about the exam format? Well, exam format is a challenging one, no doubt about it. The exam format is different as compared to FR. The exam format is different as compared to TAC, FM, PM. All those skill level papers have got three sections during the final exam. But in double A, we have got two sections only, section A and section B. In section A, you have to solve three OT case questions. Each and every OT will have five questions worth two marks each. So five to the 10, five to the 10, five to the 10. What about section B? Well, the section B is what we call the CRQs, and you will have three CRQs. The first CRQ will have 30 marks, followed by the second and third, which will have 20 marks each. Well, definitely these three CRQs will have multiple sub-exam requirements. Let's move towards the most important part of the today's session, and that is why students fail in double A. So guys, should I move towards the last and the most important part of the today's session? Are you all clear up to this point? Why students fail double A? Okay, let's move. So the next 10 minutes are going to be the make or break. In the next 10 minutes, either you are going to secure your double A on Monday, 3rd June, 2024, or you are just going to attempt the paper. Yes, you heard me right. There are two types of students, A, who are going to secure the paper, and they will move towards September 2024 with greater energy with a different paper, probably FM or maybe SBR. But there is another category of students who are just going to attempt the paper, and they will hope against the hope. Well, let's Let's hope that you are going to secure the paper. And if you really want to secure the paper, you got to understand why students fail double A. Reason number one. Reason number one. What if you score 48 out of 80? Well, your typing speed plays a very important role in double A. In FR, in TAC, you hardly type anything. But in double A, you have to type for 70 freaking marks. So your typing speed has to be very decent and very respectable. How can you improve your typing speed? You can significantly improve your typing speed if you could invest 10 days straight without any gap, two hours per day on typing.com. If you are going to do that, trust me, mark my word, you are going to finish the paper, not only double A, but triple A within the time, within the you know, within the allocated time or allotted time. You will not face time management issues. You will not struggle with the typing speed if you could invest two hours per day or maybe one hour per day for straight 10 days on typing.com. So the problem, poor typing speed. Solution, typing.com. Reason number two behind such a high failure rate, students will read the question Students will read the solution. Students will be happier that they have understood the question and they will assume that they are going to crack the paper on the mock exam day, on the final exam day. But trust me, you will not be able to do it. Many double A students would just 
attend the lecture. They will they would be conceptually clear. They will not type anything. Once they will attempt the mock exam, their hands will shiver. They will not be able to complete the mock. And then they will realize, oh, it's game over. Because once I will be conducting the double A final mock exam, it's more, it's it will be nearly as good as the final mock exam final exam. So they will feel demoralized by attempting the mock exam. So if you don't want to be in that situation, well, listen to me. Once you will attend my classes for, let's say for auditors, I, I have divided auditors in two parts, mandatory questions, optional questions, mandatory CRQs, optional CRQs. You must, you must type mandatory CRQs. If you have not typed, you are not prepared. Even if you are conceptually 100% clear, if even if you could teach to someone, you are not prepared if you have not typed it. So lack of exam practice is another reason behind a higher failure rate. Number third reason behind high failure rate, which I just mentioned a few minutes ago, double A failure will never score 20 or more in section A. You know what I want? You know what I wish? You know what I'm trying? You know what I believe? I believe we can score 30 out of 30 or at least, at least, at least 24 out of 30. How? Well, the recipe is very simple. First of all, solve section A questions using KISS. Yes, you've got lectures available in the Wiki portal. But don't directly attend the lecture. First of all, solve the questions by yourself. Then attend the lecture so that you could learn why option one is not correct, why option two is correct. Once you have, once you are done with the with the kit section A question, go on and solve ACCA study hub section A question. ACCA study hub section A questions are now also available in the Wiki portal. Those questions are exactly same to same as your final exam. In the March 2024 attempt, one of my students said, Sir, out of the three section A questions, one of the questions was 100% copy paste from the study hub. And according to that student, he did not even bother to read the options. He is dead sure that the one full question was exactly from the study hub. His name is Kavish and he ended up scoring 68 in double A. Mind you, 68 in double A is as good as 90 in FR or 95 in TAC because those are numerical number crunching type of paper. So Kavish scored 68 because he focused on section A questions. When you will be preparing double A, I will make you realize that within the section B, which we call the CRQs, 10 to 15 mark is what we call bookish knowledge. Bookish knowledge should not be wrote, learned directly. First of all, you have to attend the lecture, you have to attend my class, and you need to understand things. Once you have understood the thing, I will make you understand how to make your own notes for the bookish knowledge. If you are going to make your own notes for bookish knowledge, you will score 15 out of 15, or maybe 12 out of 15, not less than 12 out of 15. Well, recently I've created a beautiful file and it's called a combined file for all the bookish knowledge from audit risk to controls to procedures to ethics to corporate governance. I can share that file in the WhatsApp group as well. But I will share the file just for the sake of inspiration. But at the end of the day, you have to type and you have to create your own file. Only then you will be absolutely well prepared. Another reason behind the failure. Well, I mentioned that reason a few minutes ago that many students are failing this paper because they are trying to rote learn substantive procedures. You will never be able to crack double A. In double A, in section A, you will have approximately four to six marks regarding substantive procedures. In section B, the first CRQ will have again four to five marks on substantive procedures. Maybe the second CRQ would not have anything from substantive procedure, but the third CRQ will have approximately 15 marks on substantive procedure. So 25 to 30 mark paper is at stake and you will not be able to crack the ballet if you are just rote learning the substantive procedures. No, no, don't do that. 
you will struggle in triple a as well there is a technique and i will make you understand the technique there are ingredients so you got to understand what procedure as an auditor you are applying if you want to verify whether the calculations made by the client for the depreciation is correct or not you might want to recalculate but if you are wondering whether the new asset is actually there or not now you are not supposed to recalculate rather you need to inspect and if you want to confirm or if you want to confirm or if you want to have discussion with the management regarding the revaluation policy now you are not supposed to inspect now you are not supposed to recalculate rather you need to inquire and discuss the policy with the director so these are different procedures for different assertions so there is an exam technique for every major area let it be auditors let it be internal controls and most importantly surely not the least substantive procedures do not ignore minor areas during the exam preparation do not ignore ethics you might face 6 to 8 marks on ethics do not ignore corporate governance you might face 6 to 8 marks on corporate governance do not ignore internal audit you might face 4 to 6 marks on internal audit do not ignore completion review and reporting which is ignored by 99% of the failures you must be well prepared for for going concern for subsequent event and most importantly audit report last but surely not the least even if you are not going to enroll with this even if you are studying from some other respectable double a tutor just make sure your final mock exam must be marked by him or her because if your mock is not marked by the double a triple a tutor you will never be able to realize what mistake you are committing and what is going wrong this is not the case in fr or in tax because those are number or spreadsheet based paper so you can you might be able to self mark your fr you might be able to self mark your tax mock exam but in double a you genuinely need an expert who has to mark your mock exam line by line word by word so make sure your mock exam is marked what is my plan well within the next 3 to 4 days you need to cover ethics corporate governance and internal audit then you will attend live sessions regarding ethics you will attend live session regarding corporate governance internal audit and then you need to move towards the uh well questions relevant to it. well i will not ignore minor areas such as ethics corporate governance and internal audit you will attend section a questions relevant to ethics corporate governance and internal audit then you need to move towards audit risk and similarly the fast paper questions relevant to audit risk the section a questions relevant to audit risk then control same philosophy crqs and the section a then the backbone the famous substantive procedures and the crqs at least one dozen crqs on substantive procedures with concept not the rote learning and then finally the most under prepared topic review and reporting and the questions relevant to the same once you are done with the entire syllabus in approximately next 30 days or maybe 34 days or 30 days we we will have revision once we are done with the revision we will have the final mock exam and your mock exam would definitely be marked and you will receive your mark script what about the crit critical success factor you will receive a planner document you have to submit assignments you have to attend six live classes or more La in the last session i conducted 9 in the second last session i conducted 10 live sessions so it all depends so minimum 6 you have to follow the deadlines you have to attend the revision session you must attend the final mock exam people pay for it so if you are part of the regular batch if you are part of the reset batch you should you should feel blessed and you should make the best out of it you should attend the mock debrief you should be part of the paid whatsapp group and if you are not part of the paid whatsapp group if you are not part of the vp batch you can join the free global whatsapp group and how to join the free global whatsapp group well definitely once this video is available this in the description they will attach the link to the free global whatsapp group well if you understand hindi and urdu language i would encourage you to join the hindi urdu batch but if you do not understand hindi and urdu well you need to go for the double a english batch this is as simple as it could be same assignment same tutor same mocks same notes same level of whatsapp support everything would be same i pay equal res respect to you know to both the groups 
and I'm pretty active in my WhatsApp group. And even I make sure that my TAs, they do not respond to the queries in the WhatsApp group so that I could respond. So I'll be very vocal and I'll be there till the very end, till Monday, 3rd June, 2024. Now, uh, yes. Before I sign off or before I take your questions, if you have any concerns, let's discuss a very important thing. And that important thing is, uh, according to me, if you want to crack double A, you got to prepare yourself from three different perspectives. Number one, you need to focus on section A questions. Let me repeat it once more you will not be able to figure out any double A failure who scored 20 or more in section A. All the double A failures, they tend to score eight, six, 10, hardly 12 out of 30. So focus on section A, we'll be focusing on section A. We'll, we'll focus on kit questions, we'll focus on study hub questions. Don't go for study hub section A questions directly. First of all, you have to attend my lectures regarding the kit. First of all, because study up section A questions are difficult. So don't go for them. Second, work on the straightforward bookish knowledge. I will help you in that. I will provide you notes. I will provide you user-friendly notes for that. Last, but surely not the least. Yes, there is a technique for the CRQs, the application-based questions. And I will teach you and I will guide you the technique slowly but surely. So yes, they, these are the three perspectives according to me. Well, Last night, approximately 24 hours ago, I was part of the post-result Wi-Fi session. Mr. Tanish, a very bright student from India, was part of that session. He was the, you know, at that point of time, he was the top scorer of double A for my double uh, A English patch, I believe. Uh, well, his name is Tanish. And when, when I was having a chit chat with him live, it was live. It, the session is available on YouTube. He said, Sir Ahmed, Ahmed, sir, you always endorse the idea of three perspectives. And you encourage us with those three perspectives from the day one till the last day. But now I said, what advice do you have for other students who are going to attempt on Monday, 3rd June, considering you have scored a mighty 75? He said, sir, I want to add fourth perspective. I said, okay, well, that's the news. What's that? He said, sir, doubt clearing. Sir, throughout the session, I was bugging you. I was continuously texting you more or less every other day. I used to send you a message or two and you used to respond. And that texting, that gave me a lot of clarity. And as a result of that, I was crystal clear with my concepts. I was confident. So, sir, I would like, with all due respect, I would like to, Emma, sir, I would like to add fourth perspective and it's called doubt clearing. He said so. And I said two thumbs up. And yes, we used to chat a lot because he used to be very vocal in the WhatsApp group. So yes, uh, according to Tanish, there are four perspectives. According to me, there are three perspectives. But yes, let's call it four perspectives. I used to call it a triangle. Let's call it a square. So on this triangle and square note, I am pretty much done. Now, let me move towards the chat box. If you have got... Uh, if you have got any concerns or questions, please share your questions now. Okay, Asnan has raised a question. What is respectable typing speed? Well, respectable typing speed means you are able to finish off your paper. You will not be able to finish off your paper directly on Monday, 3rd June. It's a marathon. It is not a sprint. So you got to understand, even if I say, okay, let's, let's do a typing test. It's a sprint. For a minute, for two minutes, for five minutes, no. In AA, you have to type for two hours. So let's call it a marathon. Let's work it slowly but surely. Let's follow my instruction. Let's, whenever you are going to prepare a question, whenever you are going to prepare a CRQ, if you are preparing a bookish knowledge, please type it on the ACCS practice platform. Arslan Heather, is it better to do FM with AA in June? If both the papers are repeat for you, yes. Go on. If you're a full-time student with two papers, yes, go on. Because double A would be on Monday, FM would be on Friday. So that gives you a nice juicy gap. So yes, go for it. 
okay harshita i want to join the retail batch but i'm facing the issues with the payment process what should i do i've reached out to the support team but no response from their end oh, well harshita did we talk did we talk regarding this okay okay you got to text me up i'll i'll guide you you got to text me up on my whatsapp don't worry they will respond it's just a workload okay how many hours do we need to spend every day minimum if you are a full time student you got to study 4 hours per day if you are not a full time student then you got to study at least 3 hours per day i would have said relatively few hours but now this is post result this is not the orientation for the regular batch for regular batch i would have said 3 hours per day maybe 2 hours per day okay more light on bookish knowledge bookish knowledge means straight forward question which do not require the student to read the question itself they do not require you to read the entire story for example de describe audit risk and the components of audit risk four mark or maybe five mark so you got to define audit risk you got to explain there are two components of audit risk then you got to define risk of even statement you got to define detection risk you got to define inherent risk and control risk you got to define sampling risk and non sampling risk so the straight forward bookish knowledge student are either going to score 100% marks in straight forward bookish knowledge or they are going to score zero so it's going to be either 15 out of 15 or zero out of 15 i will give you a very beautiful file on straight forward bookish knowledge which will almost cover 80 to 90% of the bookish knowledge how about uh is double a and pm in june as repeats a good suggestion not a great suge suggestion because both double a and pm are having relatively low pass rate so if you are a full time student yes only then you can go for it but if you are not a full time student if you are a working professional don't go for two papers and those two difficult papers that i am attempting fr and double a in june attempt so how many hours should i dedicate to double a Uh, well assuming you are a full time student 3 to 4 hours for double a 3 to 4 hours for fr no one can study more than 8 hours per day please share bookish knowledge file question for us for free please yes i will i will share it in the in the in the free global in the global group don't worry i, I can share anything will the live sessions be at the same time and every day new no no hamza the usually i execute my live classes over the weekend so that it could benefit and it could be suitable for the greater audience but mind you the live sessions are always recorded so if somebody misses out the live session because of the time difference someone is in africa someone is in, in is in india someone is in england so there are time differences so as a result of that we record those sessions and we tend to upload those sessions after, well within few hours or maximum within 24 hours in the wifi's portal not on youtube what is the advice for student who self study in june reset self study in june reset what does that mean so i i am assuming you are you are a self study student so if you are a self study student be aggressive try to understand what i taught today you know avoid the common characteristics of the failure focus on section a focus on bookish knowledge make sure your exam technique for audit risk for controls and for procedures are correct last advice well you are going to spend a lot of time a lot of mental and physical energy and a lot of money on double a exam fee on top of that the, sub the subscription so it's better off to hedge yourself to secure yourself and join the reset batch with a significant discount and make sure and let in let ensure let's secure the double a on monday 3rd june so this is my final advice how about doing fm first attempt as a worker and resetting double a in june 2024 now it's doable because both exams have got a very nice gap in between the two but that also depends on how if you're working well you said so what's the workload if the workload is reasonable uh in that case uh, if the workload is reasonable you can do it yes you can well and more importantly i would like to i would like to know what's your uh what's your my exam performance report for double a i would like to evaluate that okay free global whatsapp number please 
free global no no mercy i would like to evaluate your exam performance report as well 39 is a is not a great score 39 is poor it, it, it's not 48 49 it's a poor score mind you free global the link to join the free global whatsapp group would be available in the in the description of this video once this video is available on youtube Okay, I think I've answered, uh, got 47 in AA first time with FR passing by 67. So this means the best way to crack theoretical knowledge of AA. Arslan, well, I'm dead sure you will pass the paper in June. Uh, in in June 2024 at time. I'm dead sure. Focus on your section A. And more importantly, Arslan, Heather, you need to share your my exam performance report and I will be able to understand what went wrong. I failed double A at 47 this time and 46 at FM. Okay. Uh, time, Ajaz, if it is possible for you, go for one paper. Go for one paper in June. But again, if you are a fully dedicated student, if you are willing to, you know, dedicate seven to eight hours per day, okay, then go for both FM and double a but join the batches for both fm and double a don't take you know don't take a risk of paying the extraordinary exam fee and god forbid again failing the paper join the batch so if someone failed at 46 yes my advice would be same do share your exam performance report i'll be you know with the help of my exam performance report i'll be able to come up with a with a far more well-informed advice the top 20 questions you shared are good for practicing during revision or almost kit is needed to practice. Okay. Mohammed Yusuf has raised a beautiful question. The top 20 questions are great if you could solve them twice or thrice each. In AA, it's about quality, not quantity. So I would say prepare, you know, five to six questions for each and every topic. Let's, let's, you know, progress with the, in, in the next 20, 25 days. For the, before the mock exam, let's strictly focus on the top 20 questions. Raquel, yes, I know that. And I think we discussed it through the WhatsApp. You got to join the batch immediately and you got to stay in touch. You got to share your concerns on a timely basis. You got to share your doubts on a continuous basis. And let, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that you track the paper. What are the top 20 questions? Well, for the March 2024 attempt, I shared top 20 questions. And those top 20 questions covered the entire AA syllabus. Now, you should not only rely on top 20 questions. Those top 20 questions should be focused from 15th May to 25th May. You know, so that you could crack the mock exam. But in the last one week, last 10 days, you should focus on new questions. Yes, I, I, I can share the top 20 questions as again. Don't worry. I'll be making a new list for the uh for the March uh, for the June 2024 attempt. Uh what free double A WhatsApp group? Well, you can join the free WhatsApp group. Let me check. Okay, I've shared the free link with Raquel. Well, could you please do the favor and post it in the chat box? Meanwhile, I would like to check out more questions. Why does the book question seem way easier than the actual exam question? No, 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 Hamza, it is not the case. Trust me, when my AA students come out of the examination hall and they used to, they, they call me or they send me a voice note, they say, Sir, the exam was absolutely same. Sir, same auditor. Sir, same control. Sir, same. Sir, same. Sir, same. Sir, same. No, no. This is not the case. Yes, that section A is difficult. Yes, you will realize section A is way different and difficult as compared to the exam kit question. But I've got a solution for that. And the solution is, in, attend my lectures regarding the section A questions from the kit. Attend my lectures regarding the section A from the study hub. And then you will realize that the section A was exactly the same. Yes, uh, yes, I do provide summarized notes and those summarized notes would be available in the WhatsApp group or in the portal, don't worry. Okay, in order to join the free AA global group for the June 2024 attempt, 
I've shared the link in the chat box. So this is it. I guess it's time for me to take your leave. Well, I am part of the free global group. So if you want to connect, I'm there. Thank you very much, guys. This is me, Ahmed Mumtaz, signing off. I wish you all the best for your double A exam on Monday, 3rd June 2024. And if you have got any other doubt or query, you are more than welcome to contact me through the WhatsApp text. Last but surely not the least, in order to secure the paper, in order to make sure you do not just attempt the paper, you secure the paper. Well, I would say join the batch, attempt the assignments, attend the lectures, attend the live sessions, and finally, finally, attend the final mock exam and you will crack the paper. Where can we share the exam report? You've got to connect with me through the WhatsApp. So when is the next live class in the reset batch? Well, I'll be conducting a live class after a day or two. After a couple of days, probably. Maybe over the weekend. Yes, probably over the weekend. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, I've shared the link to the free global WhatsApp group. I've shared it all over again. It's not working. It will work. Is it working or not? Working, working. Please try again. Thank you very much. This is a free global WhatsApp group, AA June 2024. Thank you.